Hey guys, this is Kelly from Nice Lady Productions. Thanks for joining me for this review of the Zakuto Gradical EVF. I'm hoping this review will help you out if you're considering buying an electronic viewfinder or if you're considering upgrading the one you already have. On the left of the screen, I have Zakuto's original EVF Pro and on the right is the Gradical HD. If you're interested in the specs of the EVF Pro, definitely check out my three-part series on that EVF. The Zakuto Gradical comes in two flavors, the X and the HD. With the Gradical X, you buy it as is, and then you add the features that you want a la carte. So if you want focus peaking, you add that and you pay for that separately. Whereas the HD version, it's all the features packed into one EVF and all the firmware upgrades are free. To tune the image perfectly for your eyes, Sakudo is built in a really nice, robust diopter into this EVF. You don't want sun getting in to your EVF and burning the screen. So Zakudo made this eye cup flap. So when you move your eye away, it just shuts automatically. And of course, you can also take it off altogether. We have HDMI in and out, as well as SDI in and out. You can go from SDI to HDMI out or vice versa. The airy rosette mount on the side of the EVF is a fantastic addition to this EVF. Zakuto sells an Axis Mini mount, and if you're going to get an EVF, I really suggest you get the Axis Mini because the Axis Mini uses that airy rosette to make a solid connection to your camera, your cage, or your base plate. Then you don't have a quarter 20 screw coming loose and you can put that EVF exactly where you want it on the side of your camera. It's really an incredible mount. It has eight different programmable buttons. You have four F1 to four buttons, plus there's the joystick that has four arrow buttons on it. Each button allows you to turn on or off a feature. The features themselves are extremely helpful for shooting video. There's a histogram, there's a vector scope, there's audio meters, there's focus peaking, there's zebras, there's LUTs. You can import a LUT, you can export a LUT after you've created it in camera, or you can use one of the LUTs that Zakuto has made for you based on different cameras. I found this really, really helpful. One, when I was shooting with the Zakuto and the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera outside, just shooting, engaging exposure, and one when I was doing nighttime shooting. I loved being able to use the built-in LUTs. The EVF helped me imagine what the nighttime sky and what the blacks were going to really look like so that I could expose the camera properly. The big difference between the Gradical EVF and most EVFs on the market actually is that the Gradical is using an OLED screen. That gives you some really luscious, deep, rich blacks. Zakuto's bumped up the resolution on the Gradical. It's really nice looking at an image on an OLED screen. It's a lot easier to gauge what you're shooting if the EVF you're using is accurate. And I really found that the Zakuto OLED Gradical is a very accurate display. It's crisp, it's sharp, it shows dark blacks, it shows beautiful saturation and excellent color reproduction. So that's my review of the Gradical. I hope it's helped you in some way, especially if you're considering upgrading. And if you are and you want some more information, check out an article I wrote. Go to zakuto.com backslash blog and there's an article there called Gradical EVF, Is It Worth the Upgrade? Check it out. Let me know what you think. Keep commenting, keep subscribing, and I'm going to talk to you soon.